Before we head out to the course, let's create your golfer.
Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour, the exclusive home of major championship golf. You'll be able to compete in the world's top amateur championships, including the Augusta National Women's Amateur and the US Amateur. Before you graduate to the PGA Tour and take part in the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Powered by official PJ Tour shot link and TrackMan data, Pure Strike allows for unique golf swings with a fluid feel. Pure Strike combines golfer specific tendencies with unique course dynamics and ball behavior for the premier golf gameplay experience. Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour, the exclusive home of major championship golf. You'll be able to compete in the world's top amateur championships, including the Augusta National Women's Amateur and the US Amateur, before you graduate to the PGA Tour and take part in the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Powered by official PGA Tour shot link and TrackMan data, Pure Strike allows for unique golf swings with a fluid feel. Pure Strike combines golfer specific tendencies with unique course dynamics and ball behavior for the premier golf gameplay experience. As your golf game improves, so does your path to becoming a major champion with unified RPG progression. You'll create and customize a golfer, then develop your skills so you can master each course and learn to attack every hole like a professional. The tee is yours at 30 of the world's most exclusive courses, all designed in photorealistic quality with frostbite, so you can immerse yourself in the visual beauty of some of the sport's most pristine bucket list courses. Customize your experience by selecting from a number of different gameplay styles, including Arcade, Pro, Tour. Select your gameplay preferences here. That's it. Now take a minute to look around or select Quick Play to get out to the course. Sports, it's in the game.
EA Sports, in partnership with the United States Golf Association, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage from this opening round. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at two under par. The rolling hills of Oregon provide the backdrop to this par 5 13th hole. At 553 yards, it is reachable in two. Big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot, but a big green that measures better than 50 yards head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts. So let's get out to the course as we join the action on the tee at the par 5 13th hole. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. So this is a good time now to bring in Nota Begay the third. Had an outstanding amateur career, played at Stanford with none other than Tiger Woods, four times a winner on the PGA Tour. So Nota, you, you know what it's all about, what it's like to have these dreams as a high-level amateur. Where are they at this point? Well, the, uh, the nerves are up, huge excitement about what's to come. As an amateur, it's so hard to stay focused on the task at hand, but that is going to be key in order to ensure a good performance today. really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. A little chip shot does not need to be hit that hard. Gonna have to give this a pretty good thump. This is well back there and into the hill. Lag putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and he'll stay at 200. On to a tough one now, the par 4 14th listed at 390 yards. Hot bunkers are the worry here. There are five of them to contend with, all told, and none are easy outs. The green is an arrow one as well, with a good amount of tilt from back to front. Just no chance to hold the fairway there, and it bounds into the thick stuff. Boy, it's been a terrific day so far. Noda, you've been impressed. I really have. Uh, they've really handled the golf course well. They've handled the nerves, and under the pressure, they've really managed to point to the right things that are making this thing turn into a very nice day.
and for a short little shot the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball but not bad all things considered No issues there, it is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. On now to the final par three on the course, the 15th listed at 206 yards. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. That one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Looking back up from behind the green, a second to this par three. Um, I dare say we're getting a little closer. <laughs> it's not much better, though. Two wayward shots. Now a third to the par three. Well done, though it is for bogey here at the par three, and he'll fall back to one under par. Maybe the prettiest hole on the golf course, this par four 16. A plethora of options off the tee. Most end up deciding to see just how close to the green they can get it. Beware, though, of the ever-present Bend and Dunes pot bunkers, as well as some pretty thick gorse off to the right. And that one a little wayward, it bounds off the fairway and right into the thick rough. The lie is not a friendly one, but still a chance to get on in two with a good shot here. Okay, so good work there to get this back out into the short grass. And really, this is not a bad spot to be, just a little short of the green. Certainly not out of the question to get away with a par. A little over ambitious on that chip shot, it just sailed past. Good chunk of real estate here, 22 feet away.
Yeah, he wanted that to go a little more, but that's not too bad from there. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. And that's going to move him back down to even par. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here at the par 417. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side, thick rough on the left, and a canyon to the right. But a safe drive in the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your second. Oh boy, that has started way left. And that one coming in too hot. It kicks off the fairway and right into the heavy stuff. It's tough to take an extra club out of that lie, Rich, because it's always in the back of your mind. If you hit it properly, it's going to email the green. Gave that one everything he had. I mean, really gouged it, and still, it was short. Just needed a little bit more, but he couldn't quite get it there. That one finished off for Bogey here at 17. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. On to the home hole to wrap up the round here at Bandon Dunes. And after battling to get here, isn't it nice to have a birdie hole to take you to the clubhouse? That's what we have with this 558-yard par 5. Simply avoid the bunkers off the tee, and you should have a good chance to reach the screen in two. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Had the distance right, just a tad offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Yeah, it's not in that thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really, the lie's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a standard pitch. Oh, huge mistake. That's motored on by it. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and the break here from right to left is the main consideration. It's fairly flat overall. You've got to consider the line. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Huh? 
So a tap in there. That's for par at the last. That will be an opening round score of 73. So today, probably a disappointment for our young amateur. Not the way you want to start off a big tournament. Quite simply, it's a learning experience, Rich. Uh, what EA Sports, in partnership with the United States Golf Association, so proud to spotlight golf's best amateur talent from around the globe. Today, we bring you coverage of the second round. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. We get out to the play at the par 3 sixth. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. This is a very straight cut, but it would be fast. So you've got to be careful not to run this by if it wanders offline. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll remain at two over par. We make our turn away from the ocean now and head to the par four seven. At 411 yards, it offers a nice wide fairway to sort of bomb away into. That will likely leave an uphill approach for the second to a green that is one of the more difficult on the course. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Should be able to spin this if he wants. 96 yards left for his second.
Well, the ball is on the green. That's about all I can say with that. With a short wedge in hand, you'd expect that certainly be much closer than that. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is. The eighth hole here at Bandon takes us back toward the ocean. It's a par four at 385 yards, so it's not a long one. If you can successfully navigate or vomit over those two fairway bunkers, you could leave yourself with not much more than 50 yards or so for your approach. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. So after the missed fairway, his second now from the rough at eight. That is not the worst shot in the world, but obviously could have been better. Certainly. Definitely hoping to try and get inside three feet, but uh, it's a little outside that. No, that at least was a good putt that could have very well gone in, but he misses by less than a foot. Okay, so that one finished off with double bogey. And that's going to move him back to four over. On now to the finishing hole here on Bandon Dunes' front side, the par 5 ninth. It's the longest on the course, measuring out at 585 yards. You'll find a handful of pot bunkers in the inopportune spots along the way. But if you can navigate your way around them, you just might wind up with a birdie putt. That will do just fine. Well, he obviously had enough to get it to the green with just a little bit left of target, though. Yeah, it lies not too bad, so if you can show a little bit of uh, maestro work around the green, never know, something special. Strong approach shot here at the ninth, and a good opportunity to finish this side with a birdie. That's not on target, and he just hasn't been able to make much happen here. Hey, 
Disappointment there. And we'll brush it in, and then that'll be just a par. So, Frank, this a very difficult Friday for our featured golfer. Nothing seemed to go right. And this is going to wind up an MC. Uh, that stands for missed cut. Not hammer, that's for sure. You'll feel like hitting yourself with a hammer. Uh, it, it, it's tough. I mean, it just goes to show once again. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to bring you this showcase of the best young players in the world of golf. From Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, it's opening round coverage of the event known as Q School. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. Very little action to speak of here in the early morning hours. He's got a two-shot advantage here to begin play. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at the par 4 10th. And they were thinking about cutting that corner, but this will end up in that right side fairway bunker. Need to be careful not to take much, if any, sand here. His second to this par four. Now, that's actually a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. This one's going to need to carry some pace with it. A long one for birdie. Back up the slope. Oh, this one is tracking. It's not a good line. Look out. This one could be really good. What a putt. Just missed, Frank. That's cruel. So that's in for par to start this backside. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Another par four here, the 11th. It's just under 440 yards. This time, there's water looming left and then bunkers on the right-hand side. It's a pretty good challenge, Frank. This hole is very similar to the third hole uh, on the front side. Two bunkers down the right side. Just got to keep the, keep it a little left. You don't have to hit driver here. Uh-oh, this is heading left, and there is no land over there. And in fact, that is into the lake here at 11.
So the drop taken, and now he'll try to find some way to fashion an up and down from where he is and still get out of here with a par. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Oof. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And that's gonna drop him to two under. Out of the par 5 12, Frank, how good of a scoring opportunity is this? Well, Any time you get a par 5 at Bay Hill, you've got to take advantage of it. Frank, the par 5s here at Bay Hill so important. What's the 12th like? 570-odd yards. Uh, Teared high, let it fly. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two, but still in the ball game for a birdie. <laughs> Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Facing 29 feet. Good roll there to come away with just a bogey at this par five. He'll drop back now to one under par. Well, despite only measuring 370 yards, this par four 13th at Bay Hill is the number one handicap hole. Two fairway bunkers to the left, one to the right. And that green is protected by two more bunkers and water front and right. Little over 80 yards here as he gets set for his second. Oh.
I don't think he's going to fall in love with that one, Frank, but it won't hurt him. No, but you'd expect from there to sort of get it within kicking distance. Now you got to work. happened on this hole already. That is just not fair. Okay, so that one finished off for double bogey. And that's going to move him back to two over par. These four days are going to be a grind. That's the nature of Q School. But day one, Frank, it's in the books. Yeah, day one of four, Rich, but, you know, this is...